Hello, my name's Harry. Hello, my name's Satwanda. And today's headline hitter is Rich Cottell visits All Saints Academy. Songwriter Rich Cottell visits All Saints Academy to perform for Year 7 students, but also to share his own stories to do with cyberbullying. It was about a girl who tried to commit suicide after sending inappropriate photos to her boyfriend, but went viral. Is Trump really all it? In his bid to run in the election for US president, is Donald Trump the right man to lead America? Or is his lack of popularity going to cost him in the race? People at All Saints say he does not care about America, he just wants wealth and power. We want your say on this. Is Trump the right man for the United States? Yes or no? Hello, I'm Lottie. And I'm Tamsin. And we are the BBC School News Reporters. Some of our top stories are Let's Up Paris comes to All Saints Academy. Also, if you sneeze, do you lose? We are working on a production to musical. And here are the interviews. We hope you enjoy them. For school news, since the Broadway production in 2003, ASA has brought Little Shop of Horrors back in. Tickets are on sale now and it is the biggest show of the Academy year yet. We are going to interview some of the key characters and producers. Here we are with Mr Aitchison at h one Hello Mr Aitchison. Hello. We're going to ask you a few questions about Little Shop of Horrors today. Okay. So how is Little Shop <coughs> getting along? Really, really well. We're we, we're running Act 1 and we're oh, halfway no. through blocking and preparing Act 2 and the set arrives next week. Sounds very interesting. Do you think performing arts is really important in the school? Absolutely. Why do you think that? Because through performing arts uh, students and staff learn to work together in a different relationship. Uh, students learn different skills, they learn confidence, they develop their skills and they learn to achieve success and then that success can be taken into the classroom. Do you think that the cast are into their role? I think they're getting there very nicely indeed. Do you like being this side of the stage? Yes, it's much easier. Why do you think that? Because there are no lines to learn, no dance moves and no songs. I always get the book. Thank you for your time, Mr. Aitchison. Bye bye. And now we are here with Kiara Austin. Hi Kiara, how are you today? I'm very well, thank you. I heard that you're Audrey in the Old Shop of Paris. Yeah. So do you like working with the role of Simon? Ollie's really talented. Ollie's probably one of the most talented actors in the whole play. So it is really good working with him. Do you think you suit your role as well? Well, I'm a bit of a, a drippy character. <laughs> um, I enjoy it, yes. And I think I, think I suit her in some way. Do you think, is it, is it really enjoyable? Do you think you will carry on going into plays even if you leave the school? Oh, definitely, definitely. I absolutely love being a part of the team around productions and the excitement as everything comes together. Is performing arts important to you in this school? It's really important to me. I think it's a really good way of expressing yourself and building confidence. And one last question. What is it like to perform on this side of the stage? It's intimidating sometimes with the whole audience and sometimes you can't see them, you can just feel them, you know that they're there. Yeah, it can be intimidating but it's also really liberating as well. Do you like working with Kira? I love working with Kira, she's an amazing person, she's good with little horror, she suits her role and she's there to help you with your lines, help you learn them, help you learn your acting, what you're supposed to be doing on stage and she's all around, she's a good person. So, that sounds really good. Do you think you suit your role as Seymour? Um, um, kind of, because Seymour's kind of quite intelligent and quite a bit of a nerd, and considering the fact that I'm top set for a lot of things, <laughs> then maybe I suit my role, but the dress code, I'm nothing like that compared to Seymour. And I'm not interested in plants, really. Okay, so do you think this role is enjoyable to you? I think it is enjoyable, it's a lot of work because I'm on stage a lot, but it is a good chance to get my name out there and get people to recognise and think, wow, he's actually good, um, I should go and see him more often. So is performing arts important to you in this school? It is, it is important, we are a big school, we're well known, and I think that the performing arts gives us that extra layer of, oh, this, this school is where you want to go, it's where you want your kid to go, where you want to teach when you're older, 
and it gives us that opportunity to show people in the community what we can actually do here as a drama class. So what is it like on the stage, the side of the stage? Oh, um, the side of the stage is good. Um, it's also, on, in drama, it's also good to make new, make new friends by doing all these performer, performances and you get to learn how actors develop from performing in a tiny little script play, performing in West End and musicals and it gives everyone an opportunity to open to every single person in the world and it gives everyone the ability to tell people and show people what they can actually do. Thank you for your time Molly. Thank you. And we are here with Ellie Swift. Hi Ellie, how are you today? Good. And I've heard that you're not part of the main cast, but you are a puppeteer? Yes. What kind of puppets are you? I'm puppeteering a cat that basically just hangs around the shop. That's cool. So, do you think you suit this cat? Um, I think I do because cats are kind of um, energetic, but when they're tired they just sit down and do nothing, which is what I normally do. Is this going to be a struggle, like puppeteering? I think. Are you um, willing to take this chance? I think when I first get my puppet, it might be a little bit of a struggle, but then when I get used to it, it will be fine by the time it, the show starts. Do you think you're going to take the, that chance? Yes. Do you like working with the other cast? Yeah, they're really funny. Um, the actors who play Audrey and Seymour, they really get into it. And is this an enjoyable part and sort of play for you? Would you carry on doing other plays? Yeah, because um, this is probably the first place that I'm actually in, properly in something and it's been really fun so far. So I think I will continue doing other plays. Okay, thank you for your time. Thank you, thank you for joining us on our interview. Don't forget, tickets are on sale. We hope to see you next year for the next BBC Score Report. And we are back. Can I ask a question? Yes. If you snooze, do you lose? Well, some people are not getting enough sleep at night, which affects their day-to-day -day life. Their mood and behaviour may change, and they lose focus at school. We interviewed some students on their thoughts about sleep. We asked students what they thought about sleep. Here is what they said. Okay, Connor, how important do you think sleep is and why? Uh, well, sleep is very important because it can affect your day-to-day -day, um, chores and what you would do in yourself every day and every day. Okay. Do you sometimes struggle to sleep and sometimes do the why? Um, yeah, I could. It could be um, anything from just, say, um, loud noises to needing to go to the toilet or have a drink. Okay. How many hours of sleep do you think you should get? Roughly at our age, maybe 10 to 11 hours. So Joe, how many hours of sleep do you think you should get? About 9 to 10. Okay, do you sometimes struggle to sleep sometimes and do you know why? Um, sometimes if there's like a lot of bad noises at night. Okay. Does not sleep, having enough sleep affect your life and how? Yeah, because you might be more miserable throughout the day because you're tired. Okay, what certain jobs do you think sleep is best for? Like long shifts, because you have to get up in the morning to get late. Don't want to fall asleep on shift. Okay, thank you.